Greetings, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Let me share with you Psalm 131. It's a song of ascents of David. O Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me. But I have calmed and quieted my soul. Like a wind child with its mother, like a wind child is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. This is one of the pilgrim songs written by or attributed to King David. Jews sang songs of worship to the Lord as they traveled to Jerusalem for the annual festivals. This they sang on the uphill road to the city, hence ascents. In the opening verse, David acknowledges God as the Lord. Therefore, he approaches Him with a humble spirit, one that is not being concerned and involved with matters that are too difficult and great for him. In verse 2, we would learn that David rests content with the fact that God's presence in his life is all that satisfies him, a blessed assurance that he is safe and secure in his Lord. Like a wind child with its mother, like a wind child is my soul within me. He likened it to a mother-child relationship wherein the mother wins her own, thereby teaching teaching the child to learn to wait and be disciplined about his eating schedule. Oh, how difficult it is, both for babies and adults, to be in that situation, isn't it? The exercise of patience is never natural and instant, even as we grow old and mature as Christians. It takes a spirit-led and spirit-filled life to wait patiently for the things that we specifically ask of Him provision, we may ask for intervention, deliverance, healing, specific instruction and direction. But then we learn in this passage that David has calmed and quieted his soul. He knows that a wind child does not mean severed or cut off from that parent-child loving relationship. David is confident within. He is secure in the presence of his Lord. The psalm ended with a joyful admonition for Israel, the children of promise, to never waver, but instead to put their trust in the Lord, not just today, but always. How are you today, dear brother and sister? Have you, like David, calmed your soul, or have you been restless? Consider how God, in His great love, sent His only begotten Son so that you and I may have abundant life. John 10.10 A life that identifies and overcomes with Christ. I hope to share a song with you. I hope that this song encourages you to take full confidence in the truth that God's presence will never leave us. Mm-hmm.